What's going on guys? Good morning. I don't know why I'm starting a vlog like half paying attention But yo Nav dropped this video for some way. I didn't even notice that you know what's jokes actually his account on YouTube is so new still that he doesn't even have a profile picture yet Definitely good for Nav young boy out of the city and he's linking up with the weekend That's I don't even how do you do that apparently this came out like five days ago I don't know how I missed it good first video good first video. It's pretty wavy the video looks like it's the making of a video shows all the girls like getting ready doing their makeup or whatever changing this is what I like to do in the morning I pretty much wake up brush my teeth make my coffee get my cereal and I just catch up on YouTube videos that's what I do every morning it's perfect because Vanessa has to work in the morning and it's too early to just like start grinding as soon as you open your eyes I hate to say it. but luckily for me watching YouTube videos is kind of like working so pretty much I wake up and I'm working right away where, where y'all at usually I have to run through the boys videos that I miss and then I obviously Obviously, I have to catch up with my Pokemon Go videos. That's Ali A. I've been watching Mystic 7 these days too. Mystic 7, I just started watching more recently, and I love his videos because he's on his Pokemon shit, that's for sure. But this guy also has some really nice shots. He lives in Cali. It's just like Santa Monica Pier. Oh my god, that's gotta be like top two, top three best places to play Pokemon Go in the world. Am I gonna go to the gym today? I shouldn't even think about it. I should just go. But I went yesterday, so I'm feeling a little nice. But that shouldn't be enough. I should be going like five times times a week. Miami is coming up. How early are you allowed to be excited for a trip? That's what I want to know because I have a trip coming up in like two months and I want to get excited for it but nothing's really planned yet so I can't really be excited and two months is kind of a long time so I'll tell you guys about that trip in a bit though. I'm gonna get some breakfast. I'm starving. Breakfast thing. Breakfast thing. So basic just because like I don't know. I just don't want to think about breakfast all the time. Maybe when I'm more in the groove of things, I'll wake up and I'll make some crazy breakfast every day. But for now, it's the cereal thing. At least it's like Raisin Bran and I'm not having like Fruit Loops for breakfast, you know? Fruit Loops is at night. <laughs> Four. Oh no, 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 there's not enough. No, there's not enough milk. Oh shit, and I already poured it. Ah, you know those? This sucks. God damn. And the thing about cereal that sucks, I even have a grocery store downstairs, right downstairs. I can go downstairs, I can get milk, come right back up. But cereal gets soggy. I don't have time to do all that. Even though I'm privileged and blessed to have the grocery store downstairs, it's not gonna help. Stop the vlog, stop the vlog, hold on. Guys, it is the veteran's birthday today. The first one to do this shit. He paved the way, he created opportunities. David Parody, happy birthday. The boy is 26 today. I'm sending my happy birthdays all the way from Toronto through this vlog. I already said happy birthday through text, but I hope he watches my videos. Okay, so it's already 10.24 a.m. I feel like for people who aren't at work or whatever, 10.30 would be like, ah, it's fine. Some people probably won't even be awake by then, but 10 a.m. hits and I just feel like my morning is running away from me. I don't even know what it is. As soon as the double digits just hit on that clock, I'm like, oh shit, it's getting late. I think it's just because I truly know how much shit can get done in those early morning hours. Anyways, I'm still catching up on my vids. Right now, I'm catching up on this one. I don't know if you guys saw this yet, but it's group chat with the boys. You guys should definitely definitely check that out. It's so jokes and you guys will be able to see me in like a different environment You know not my own channel not making vlogs or whatever. This is like it's just lit <laughs> This is literally just like a group discussion. We just pick a topic and we just talk about it And it's usually some like weird or touchy subjects This one's about having a girlfriend and having to cut off other girls or whatever So it's like it gets pretty interesting like <laughs> we're already going off. How would you feel if your girlfriend called you that her friend's name? Like what just in, in, in what day? scenario? In how? 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 Like like she? So let's say her friend's name is is uh, Cornelius and and uh, his name uh, is Cornelius. That's fine. Oh shit, yeah, that was Cornelius. My bad. My bad. Um, <laughs> her friend's name's her friend's name is Brad. Okay. Right. And she this is a guy that you you've been saying like yo who's Brad blah blah blah. Yeah. yeah. And she says yo uh, Brad can you pass the chips? And you're like what? Hmm. Brad can you pass the chips now? The problem with that sentence no, is that like the me. problem with that sentence is like how many times have you been in proximity with Brad for, no. for you to be asking such a casual no, question? Like, how many times you, chips when I'm on the you, know, you, you know what? When, no, when were you and Brad just having snacks? So you guys should definitely check that out. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about these two mans here. If you don't, Jay and Trey Richards for y'all. They have a dope channel. They have like three or four channels working mad hard. So I was talking to you guys. No, nope, that's uncomfortable. That's not gonna happen. So I was talking to some of you guys on Twitter. You guys know who you are. My close Twitter family. I love you guys. And you guys are telling me. You know, just drop more vlogs. Casually vlog and just do your day and just talk. And we'll watch it. So I'm like, you know what? 
I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try and get into the routine of just picking up the camera and just shooting my day. Sometimes I have some pretty boring days, most of the times. Most of the times I have pretty boring days, but I'll try to do something pretty often for you guys. I'm not gonna say some everyday shit, but today luckily for you guys, I do have a couple things to do outside. So a tripod, I'm waiting on that. I did get this Manfrotto, I can't show you because it's on my camera, but it's a baby step. At least I can, I can have my two hands and I don't have to stack shit on top of each other to film videos. So for now, this little mini tripod thing is good, but I do need to get a real tripod, a real nice heavy duty one, but I'm just, I'm just gonna wait on it. I don't remember if it was in a vlog or on my Snapchat, but I was saying how if things are like a certain price, I just I just gotta wait a little bit. I gotta take my time and really think about if I wanna make that purchase. I was saying like, for example, I bought a PS4 and there's no options of like what kind of PS4 to buy. It's just a PS4. Like maybe there's two different options like for space or whatever. It's gonna be three, $400, you just buy it, it's done. But things like a tripod, cameras, other electronics where there's like mad options for one specific thing, it takes me so long to wrap my mind around buying that one thing. Thing when there's so many options like if I go to the camera store right now and I see a tripod There's gonna be like four tripods within ten dollars of each other and it's just gonna make my brain explode This one's eighty nine dollars. This one's one oh nine. This one's one twenty nine. What? What what do they do? That cheeses me and I need to like do my research before I go into stores for that reason. I don't want to be caught slipping. I don't want some guy to just tell me, yo, this is this is a good one, bro. Take this one. Nah, it's an Elgato. That's what I need. It's just this like game capture thing that you use to record your screen or whatever when you're playing games. And I need that because, you know, I'm trying to whoop some people online and expose them to the world, but I can't do that without this Elgato, Delgato, whatever the hell it's called. I just got like a free online two week trial on my PlayStation and I've only used it like Two days. I haven't really been over there using my PS4 for some reason. Partially because I feel like if I'm just playing the game, ah, it's kind of a waste of time. Like it's not a waste of time, but if I could at least, I don't know, film something, I'd feel better about just sitting in that corner and just like playing games. A big thing I really want to do though is I want to get online for my Xbox because online for the PS4 for me right now, it's kind of shitty because I just have the one game that I'm not used to. It's GTA 5 by the way. But if I get online for the Xbox, Ooh. I'm gonna slap so many of you guys on NHL online and I'm gonna film it and I'm gonna put it up. I might do a series just slapping subscribers, just boxing all of you guys. I know how some of you kids are. You play this shit for hours and hours and hours and you're probably gonna box me. One thing I've learned about this building, the walls, very thin. Like soon enough, these people on this floor are gonna know that I make videos or I, they probably, I don't know if they think I like fight with my girlfriend or something. I don't know what it is. But, oh my, oh shit. That scared the shit out of me. I thought I just lost. I thought I was about to spill an entire liter of water. Oh my god. But yeah, I'm like, I'm kind of loud when I'm making these videos. Maybe not so much the vlogs or whatever. As soon as I start getting that PlayStation set up and I have to film over in that corner, that's gonna be bad for the people outside. From inside, I can hear people outside. So I can only imagine what I sound like. I'll give you guys a quick update on the office. Let me turn this on real quick. Yeah, so still not too much going on. Some bare walls. But I cleaned it out a little bit more. There was more shit here. I still have to figure out somewhere where to put this bin, but like this condo is not big enough to just have storage. All that is is just boots and shoes. And like, what what do you mean? We already <laughs> like I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna try and figure out somewhere to put that because I just I don't want that in my office. That's me. I want to show you guys something jokes. This is pretty funny. So I only have one armrest on this chair. I don't know what happened, but I can only find two of the screws. What I initially did with this chair just didn't work. I only had two screws, so I put one. One screw here and then I put the other arm up and I put one screw in that side but each screw I screwed in really really tight so I'm like you know what I won't put too much weight on it it'll be okay until I find another screw Charlie came over I didn't tell him about that and I don't think he even knows and I bet he thinks he just broke my chair he didn't say shit he broke the chair he didn't say shit but yeah I didn't tell him so he probably rested his arm on it and it broke off so now what I did instead I just took that one completely off and I put both screws in this one so this one's actually sturdy now I just gotta I just got one arm, that's it. And I put it on the side where I'm not using the mouse. So I'm like, you know what? I don't, I don't know, I need to get some screws. I'm sitting here trying to explain why I have one armrest. This is, f oh, I have a little bit of sneaker talk for you guys. Oh, sneaker talk. <laughs> I have a little bit of sneaker head talk for you guys. Um, I just wanna show you these shoes, okay? I don't even own a pair of Jordans. I never have. Actually, I had one in like grade 10 and it was a fake pair from China. I think it was the Retro 4s, I'm not sure. So yeah, I haven't owned a pair of Jordans for like seven, eight, nine years now. And I just found a pair that would be the first pair of Jordans I've owned in that long, but they're so expensive. I can't, I can't bring my, 
myself to spend this much on shoes just yet. And I'm, and to be honest, I think I'm only saying that because they don't have my size because I'm pretty sure I was really close to just getting them. But yeah, I checked and they didn't even have my size, but these are the shoes right here. All right, let me find these shoes again. Hold on. I was like heavily, heavily window shopping online last night. You ever just have this vibe like, I need new shit. Okay, I got it. Here's the shoe right here. Hold on, let me bring this over for you guys right here. Ooh, look at those kicks, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. These are called the Jordan 5 Retro Premium Take Flight in Sequoia. And I know that Sequoia is a kind of tree. It's like the tallest tree somewhere. I don't know. This is mod. Look at that. It has new buck suede all over. That green is just my kind of green. And the ice blue at the bottom there. Oh. And then you got the tan colored tongue right there. That's crazy. That color scheme is out of control. Oof. I really need these shoes, but bruh. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, last night I opened up so many tabs of just shit that I, oh, I think these were, I think these were girl shoes actually that I was looking at for Vanessa. Adidas Women's Tubular Defiant. These are not bad either, 130, and they're actually greasy. I'm not greedy, I also, I always just look for Vanessa too. When I'm looking at clothing, I just always look for Vanessa. Like even if I'm out by myself, I'll just go into the girl section and see if there's anything kinda nice, you know? Cause yo, we gotta swag out together. We, one of us can't be falling behind. Oh yeah, I kinda like these two. These are just pretty basic Jordan 1s, black with a white sole, but I like that it's a really thin white platform. Cause usually the whole bottom is white. I don't know, ooh yeah, it's wavy how thin it is at the bottom there. Oh yeah, Palace Rugby right here. This is pretty dope. Oh yeah, this jacket here, ooh. It looks like a Ford jacket. And then this jacket from Top Man. The other things are just kind of fantasies. <laughs> They're not actually gonna happen. But this is nice and it's not too expensive. Oof, look at that. Yeah, I could rock that. Old Jaden Smith looking ass. And what else was I looking at? Oh yeah, I think I was looking at some stuff from All Saints. Oh, this hoodie was mean. This is where my PS4 is. I love that they made this brand new, like, slim PS4. Because it fits right in here so perfectly. Alright, so I'm going to catch up on these last few videos. You know, finish my morning routine. Then I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to hit the road. The video that's going to be uploaded tomorrow. And the video turned out to not really be a video, so I scrapped the whole thing. But I drove all the way to Long Beach, so while I was there, I What? Just, I okay, okay, it. let me pause that. Let me pause that. that. This guy was actually just talking about something that I just did yesterday. I have to stop the video. I don't know if you guys heard, but he was just saying he drove all the way somewhere, filmed the whole video, and then scrapped the video. I just did that yesterday. I was gonna make a deadly Pokemon Go video. It was gonna be sick, and I was just gonna squeeze it in between uploads, you know? I even spent money to go to this place to play the game, and I got home and the footage was just so trash that I had to scrap the whole video. I'm actually gonna put the intro to that video right here to give you guys some context. Here it is. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon on go episode I, I really wish I could say that more often I really wish I could say that more often I got some heavy news all right anyways Vanessa's here say hi to Vanessa yeah hi. anyways some place called Edwards Garden in Toronto or like North York I don't even know where it is had a crazy chikorita spawn like according to reddit this place is insane so I did have to obviously check it on uber because I gotta see how much money I'm about to spend to get to this place so that's where it is I'm all the way down there somewhere and it's gonna cost 26 so we filmed all that got set up took the uber all the way to Edwards Edwards Gardens Oh my god, that place is so far. It was like a $25, $26 Uber each way. Got to the place, it was so cold, so windy. It was just a bad time. But I did film the whole time there. I recorded my screen. I did everything I had to do. I even brought my drone with me. Unfortunately, I didn't get to actually fly it. <gasps> Whoa. But I brought it with me like it's about to count. Anyways, I get home. I put all the footage in my computer I check it out. I start editing it and then I get to the part where we're outside. It was horrible It was actually just not even watchable to the point where I just had to delete it It's crazy too because I was going through the footage and I'm like, okay I'll just cut that and then I'm like, oh, there's more. I'll cut that. I'll cut that. I'll cut that and then I'm like Okay, hey, this is half the video. So I just scrapped the whole thing. It was just a really shitty day and we just both looked so uncomfortable and so unhappy. While we were there, we were super excited. We are like, oh my god, I can't believe this is this. But at the same time, like, <laughs> sniffling and shit. There's snot falling out. I got shit in my eyes. Like, it was so cold, so windy. I think it was negative 10 outside. We had one mitt each because only I brought a pair of mitts. So I'm out here with one glove just playing Pokemon Go. It was just so shitty to watch. It was just... 
Like, it looked like so much more of a force than it really was. It just looked like, yo, this guy really just spent 50 bucks to go freeze his ass off, sniffling on camera, just looking all beat. I really wanted to put it out, though. I was so cheesed. Because also, if I waited an extra day to start editing that video, I wouldn't have known how shitty it was. Then I would have been screwed. Okay, so a quick change of plans. I'm actually not going to go outside today. I'm going to go outside in a bit, actually. So, yeah, I've just been editing for the past few hours. And I was texting Vanessa about, like, what I'm doing today or whatever. So, she's like, hey, I'll come with you if you wait till tomorrow. So, that's what I'm going to do. Because I'd love to have her company along this journey to buy some gaming accessories. But now I have a little bit of free time. Because, yeah, I was going to go out for a couple hours and come back. But since I've already edited quite a bit today, I'm going to relax for just a bit. I think it's, like, what time is it? 4 o'clock. Because when I started this vlog, it was, like, 10 in the morning. <laughs> This has taken only like 14 minutes, 12 minutes, 10 minutes, however long you've been watching. It looks like that's how long it's been, but look, look, look at this. 3.52. Anyway, so because I have some extra time, I'm gonna munch some food. You know, I have groceries right behind me, but it's just sometimes when you've already been working hard on something for a few hours and you've already built up a hunger, you don't want to start making a meal then. If I order something, I can continue to edit while I'm waiting for the food to come to me. It's just, it's a no-brainer. Ooh, -wee, I love that. Okay, I have a question for you guys. This is something that I've only asked like people who have been with when I order food. If you have Uber Eats, wherever you are. Actually, I guess this only works if you live in a building, but when you order Uber Eats, do you make them come all the way to your door or do you go downstairs and meet them? Because I've been having this discussion with Vanessa like, and with everybody else, Charlie, everybody who's ordered shit with me. They always make them come upstairs and me, I don't know why I feel bad, I just go downstairs. I don't know what, maybe because this building is kind of tricky to get into, I don't know what it is. But the past like three orders I've made, I've clicked the come up to the door option and then I just see them on the map coming closer to the building and I just go downstairs. I don't know what it is. So I'm about to do that right now. My man's on a bicycle. The least I could do is meet him downstairs. Oh my god, oh my god. Woo, you guys aren't ready. Neither am I. Oh my gosh. Before I open this, have you guys ever had Burrito Boys? Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever had the pleasure? If not, you're playing yourself. Check us out. <laughs> Whoa, bruh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they went off with this one. Look at those toppings. Look at the love they put into this quesadilla. This is my go-to meal. Quesadillas are my go-to meal for most places, but especially Burrito Boys, they kill it. Ooh. And because of my little issue, I can't really have too many toppings. So I just put corn, chicken, like a four cheese blend or something and some black beans so it's safe to say I'm pretty happy right now I'm looking forward to a delicious meal I don't have to go on a journey alone today all right I'm gonna bring my food over here and just chill for a little bit and eat and then I'm gonna get back to editing so I can drop a video tonight so yeah before I say my goodbyes and close off the vlog I just got to get some feedback so like I said at the beginning of this vlog I was inspired or prompted to vlog more casually so that I can vlog more frequently. And I'm gonna try that vibe out. Don't think, you know, all my vlogs are just gonna be me sitting in the house. That was just today. And yo, that just kinda happened out of nowhere. Some videos I might be inside, but for the most part, I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna do stuff. But someone told me, you know what, DJ? You don't have to be doing something crazy. You don't have to be jumping out of a plane and shit. Just vlog your day. We just wanna see your day. Cause you know, I just did it today and it, it wasn't that bad. You know, I can do this more often for sure. Also, I kinda like this more because I feel like I'm gonna see you guys more often. I guess I'm not seeing you guys. You guys are just seeing me, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I'm sitting here acting like my food isn't getting super cold, but thank you guys for watching yet another video. And until next time, guys, don't sleep, fam.